Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So on Friday last week, Microsoft also rolled out the latest beta channel inside a preview build, 22635.4010, which was made available with the update KB5041869. So Friday was a busy day for the Insider program. Now, just having a look at what is new. Now, first of all, um, Microsoft has restored the simplified system tray with the shortened date and time change that began rolling out with a previous uh, build, 22635.3930, which now is starting to roll out again. So basically, just a quick recap regarding this feature, because I did post on it previously. But basically, it's a more simplified system tray to highlight the date time in a shortened form and to show the notifications bell icon based on DND status. So as mentioned previously, without the notification bell icon, you can get to your notifications by clicking the date and time to notification center. And then you can also revert to the long form of the date and time and bell icon visuals by toggling the values in the actual settings. And these settings are also accessible through the context menu shown by right clicking the system tray clock and or bell icon button and because we're in beta i think there's a very good chance with this feature that it's going to roll out sooner than later to the stable version and i certainly hope it does because it does just give you a little bit of personal choice and preference to kind of declutter and thin out the system tray with a setting so this is one i'm actually looking out for when it comes to stable now the next um kind of um uh, improvement i actually posted on and I'll leave this video um, down below and in the end screen where hover jump lists may be optional because this was a feature uh, that Microsoft had been working on and um, there was quite a lot of um, kind of feedback where users were wanting a setting to turn off moving your mouse cursor over a icon in the system tray or an app in the system tray and then it shows those jump lists. And Microsoft has mentioned with this latest beta channel build that there is now a setting to turn this off and this should um, be available via settings personalization taskbar under taskbar behavior so that's a nice move in the right direction and if you want more info regarding this i'll leave as mentioned that video linked down below and in the end screen now we also get a couple of fixes that have rolled out and um, i'm just going to mention the first they fixed a recent issue where if you press the shift key when you right clicked on an app icon on the taskbar it was opening another instance of the app rather than opening the expected menu and Microsoft also, also say that as part of this fix they've also fixed an issue where if you press the shift key when right clicking on an app icon on the taskbar it would sometimes crash explorer.exe which is the actual shell of the OS so that would be your start menu taskbar notifications file explorer so that's quite an important fix in the beta channel and then they also fixed a task manager issue where the drop down of the actual um the drop down of at the top of the gpu section of the performance section wasn't showing in dark mode when dark mode was enabled so in the dev channel as i posted earlier today um they also rolled out a fix for the task manager and now the beta channel has also received a fix so obviously um, a little bit of work needs to be done uh, in the insider program on the task manager and then because we are in preview there are a couple of known issues which is expected and then there's also a paint update which i'm just going to mention the two improvements apparently there's now pen back button eraser support so basically you can now switch from your current tool to erase by pressing on the eraser button or flip into the back of the stylus pen to erase and the second improvement for the paint update uh, in the beta channel is pen support lets you select in pen side button so you can now also click on the side button when you hover the stylus pen over the screen to use the freeform selection tool and select anything on the canvas quickly so basically that's a paint update um, that's been made available now to the beta channel so as mentioned friday was a busy day and that's build 22635.4010 and that's the latest insider preview build for the beta channel insiders so thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next one